What's up guys? Welcome to your 97th Android tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to load data from a shared preference of some sort. So the first thing we, that we want to do is we want to kind of say uh, an update method of some sort because we edited our shared preference within our save button. So we kind of want to make sure that our shared preference instance is updated. So again, we created a shared preference called SumData within our onCreate method, and we're basically going to use the same line of code to update. Because right on our onCreate method, it uh, you know sets it up for us, and at that moment, is there's nothing to find really. And now what we're doing is we're saying, hey, yeah, since we made this edit, uh, we're going to update it again and see if there's any changes. So again, we're going to get the shared preferences from our shared preference class or object here and we're going to load the same file name and the default setting and now what we want to do is we want to set up a string because we're going to again get this string that we put in um, right here within our save button um, and we called that string shared string here so we're going to just set up a string variable called um, data returned something like that and we're gonna set this variable equal to our sum data again our shared preference and we're this time instead of saying put string we're gonna get string because again we're loading the data and we're gonna use the same file name or reference that we used in our last tutorial when we put that string in so we're gonna say string I'm sorry uh, shared string and the second parameter, basically, this is going to what this is what's going to be loaded if um, we couldn't access this shared string. For example, if we mistype this, we don't have a file name within our shared preference called sharded string. So it's going to give us this default value. So we're going to say something like couldn't load, couldn't load data, something like that. So that's what that second parameter means. Um, again, all we're doing is we're setting up this string variable to get the string from our shared preferences called shared string. And if we couldn't do that, it's going to say couldn't load data. That's going to be the default uh, return. And now all we have to do is we need to set up our uh, text view that we created called data result um, to match our shared preference that we just received. So we're going to say data result. All right, what was it? Data results. And we're going to say dot set text. Again, kind of a review for the set text. But now we're going to set it to this string that we just got. Um, so we're going to say data returned. And there we go. We're pretty much done with this tutorial. But let's quickly talk over everything again. Uh, just make sure you guys know what's going on. So we created a shared preference type variable and it's going to say get shared preferences and we're going to say hey this is the file name. So again we set up a, a static file name that's never going to change called my shared string. So that's what that file name means. And it's going to load the, kind of the default loader and uh, once we set that up we're going to kind of access that to save certain data or certain strings um, or booleans or whatever type of uh, kind of variables we want to save within here um, but again again just kind of clarify think of this sum data or shared preference as a folder not I, I know I said it's a file name but think of it as a folder and then within that folder we can say stuff like uh, we want to create a string reference or a file called shared string and we're gonna put that in there um, so think of the shared preference as a folder and then we're gonna say hey we want to edit that folder um, so we're going to just refer to that folder and say we want to edit something. And again, we set up this string that's going to kind of convert our edit text into a string. And we're just going to use that editor that we create here because that's where we're going to edit stuff. So we're going to say we want to edit and put in a string variable. And we want the file name to be shared string. And we want that value to be our basically our edit text converted into a string. And we want to commit to that. We are pretty solid on that uh, decision. And then our load is, again, we're going to set up our shared preferences, the same file name, um, so we know we're working with that folder for the most part. And then we're going to say we're going to set up a new string variable, and we're going to get um, basically the string from that folder, 
called shared preferences. And if we couldn't do that, we're going to say couldn't load the data. And then all we're going to do is convert our, uh, our text view into um, basically this string that we set up here. So let's run it and make sure it works real quickly. So we're going to go down to our shared preferences class and we're going to type something like uh, test one. And we're going to first, let's say we load it before we save it. So we're going to load it and it's going to say couldn't load data because again we haven't set up this, this value called shared string. We do that once we hit the save button. So we're going to say save and now it's going to create this file called shared string and it's going to load the data from our edit text. And now when we hit load, it's going to say test one because we saved it. Um, again, we can, whoops, even if we, I mean, we aren't just converting an edit text. We're saving some preferences. So if we hit load again, it's going to load test one because we didn't save this test. Once we save it and load it again, it's uh, going to load the test file there. So again, you can guys, you guys can create as many files as you want within our folder. Again, think of the shared preferences as a folder. Um, so, so example, you can set up more strings with different type of references that you can load up later. So hopefully you guys kind of understand now the shared preferences a little bit more clearly than previously in the series when we um, used it for a preference activity. Um, and again, the shared preferences is just beneficial if you're saving strings, booleans, kind of simple variables, um, not a whole bunch of data, just kind of preferences, true or false statements, stuff like that. So I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial where we're going to get into some more data stuff and using a class uh, that's different than the shared preferences. So I'll catch you guys then. Have a good one.